Okay guys, I wanted to make a little video here of example three and just to show you how to do this problem solving question. Uh, we didn't get to do this in my one class. In my other class, uh, I feel like I could do a bit of a better job of explaining uh, how to do this question a bit more detailed. Uh, uh, the student who actually went over this did a very good job, but I have to show some more detail, I think, for everybody else. So, um, in any case, I'll, I'll read the question and we'll just solve it together and see how to do it on the calculator as well. So it says a go-kart has about 380 racers, sorry, a go-kart track has about 380 racers per week and charges each racer $35 to race. The owner estimates that there will be 20 or more races per week for every $1 reduction in the price per racer. Uh, how can the owner of the go-kart track maximize weekly revenue? This is actually not that simple. So uh, I suggest what you do is maybe extract the relevant information from the problem. So 380 racers per week, that's important. Uh, they charge 35 to race, that's important. The owner estimates there'll be 20 more racers per week, that's important for every $1 reduction in the price, okay? So if you just read it again, uh, keep calm, don't give up already, uh, read it again, and think about the information you're given, and think about things you know, prior knowledge that you have about situations to do with revenue, maybe you'll, uh, you can solve it, you wouldn't struggle too much. So in any case, let's, let's take that uh, information out of there, write it down maybe separately and see what happens. So we say um, uh, the number of racers per week is 380 normally. Okay, and the price per racer is $35. That's what these two pieces of information mean. Okay, and then uh, the owner estimates that uh, there will be 20 more racers. Okay, so if this is the place we're writing information about racers, there will be 20 more racers for each reduction in price and here if we're talking about money we want to say that uh, the reductions in price are one dollar okay each so we know a whole bunch of stuff actually the only thing we don't know is how many reductions need to take place and obviously this says how can the owner of the go-kart maximize revenue? So in other words, how many reductions need to take place to make revenue the most, okay, the maximum? And so that's really the unknown. Reductions is the unknown. So if we don't know something, we say let X be the number of price reductions, okay? Price reductions. So X is the number of price reductions. Now we can actually start writing an equation. If you think about it, you can set up an equation and solve the problem with an equation. Uh, it seems crazy, but it's not that bad. So if you just go back to like basic things you learned in pre-algebra, uh, revenue is uh, basically the number of items sold times the price per item. Okay, how much do I sell each item for? That's basically revenue. This is not new information to most of you. Um, and so all we have to do is fill in those two things. I'm trying to fill this in. What is this and what is this with all of the information we were given here? Okay, and then the thing we defined is X. So, 
with that in mind, we can try it. So let's say revenue is number of items sold. Okay, in this case, the items that I'm selling is actually uh, I'm getting money for each racer. So I'm not selling items, I'm making money per racer. So that loosely translates into the same idea. So I'm talking about 380 racers per week, all right? And we're talking about weekly revenue, so that's okay, 380 racers per week. Um, and then we were told this, there's 20 more racers for each reduction. Okay, so more means plus, so plus 20 more racers, so plus 20 for each reduction. So for each reduction, this would mean 20 multiplied by the number of reductions. So this means multiplication, basically. So 20 multiplied by the number of reductions. Okay, and then price. So when we talk, so this, this is done. We did number of items, now let's do price. So price per racer, $35, so times uh, $35, okay. And reduction means reduce, which means basically minus, okay, subtract, subtract something from the original price per racer, so minus, and I'm reducing it, uh, the price by $1 at a time. So $1 reduction times each here means times x, okay, each price reduction, all right, so x is still the number of price reductions. And so what I'm doing here is setting up an equation. This is the number of items sold, 380 tickets sold uh, per week, plus 20 times number of reductions in price, and then $35 uh, dollars is the price per ticket, minus $1 for every reduction in price, okay? And so that's the equation. That's really the solution uh, except we have to answer the question, but really is the key to the solution. And so what you can do, I mean, we can kind of rewrite this a little bit more mathematically. Uh, 380 plus 20x and 35 minus x, basically, is what we're talking about. And so there's two ways you can do this. You can FOIL this, but we haven't really done that yet in our class this year. I know that you know how to FOIL. I know you've done this before. But um, you know, perhaps there's someone who hasn't. So I won't go over that. What I'm just gonna do is show you the method we used in example uh, two up here, especially for letter B, is how to find a maximum or minimum on your calculator again. So you can actually type this directly in your calculator, okay? You can type that directly in your calculator. And if you do that, let's do it together. Uh, you just hit y equals and then just type exactly what it said there so 380 plus 20 x and times 35 minus x all right that's it and then the problem is if you graph this with the standard zoom which we normally do first at least you see nothing okay and that's because if you look at the equation the numbers are pretty big and if you foil this you'd see the numbers are you know fairly large actually so we didn't foil it but I'll give you a hint here you can there's a few things you can try let's I think I'll try this with you try zoom uh, fit which is zero so if you push up arrow there zoom fit see what this does actually that's pretty good so you can kind of see here is the maximum, right? So that's actually good enough if you just do zoom fit. The other thing you can do is try and make it fit in the window manually by going to window and then saying, how can I adjust this to work well? And so, um, you know, if you look at the graph right now, we're, we're showing a lot of negative here, but we're not selling negative numbers of tickets. So this is not really a help, helping us in an applied question. So what you want to do is maybe make the X max big bigger much bigger uh you know 50 tickets or uh, sorry 50 reductions x is number of reductions and then make maybe make your x just minus one or something like that negative one okay uh and then y min 8100 to 
14 thousand so how about we make the my y min negative one because y is dollars of revenue okay so i'm not making negative revenue so i'll just go a little bit below uh, zero and then the maximum this is fine you can leave it like that maybe just go up to like fifteen thousand. Uh, and how did I do how do you know this stuff just play around with it there's no real immediate answer for this just play around with the window size and see what happens and if you graph this uh, you see the function starting at uh, no price reductions and then as I reduce price my revenue goes up and then uh, if I reduce price more my revenue actually starts going down so it's not wise of course to reduce my price too much that kind of makes sense but this is what we're looking for the maximum revenue this is revenue this is number of reductions in price and so what we did in class was second calc okay second calc that's how you find uh, features on a graph analyze the graph and then we go to maximum you hit enter and it says go to the left of where you think the maximum is so go back uh, all the way okay somewhere on the left of the maximum hit enter and then if you go arrow to the right somewhere on the right doesn't matter where but it's somewhere so here's the maximum left bound right bound is there okay fine i don't want to guess and there you go so what you get is if i re have eight price reductions remember of one dollar x is price reduction number of price reductions then y would be my revenue so fourteen thousand five hundred and eighty dollars my maximum revenue so you say here uh, for eight price reductions of one dollar okay the maximum revenue will be and that is fourteen thousand five hundred and eighty dollars okay and that's it that's kind of tricky but that's also like one of two of your homework questions or one of your homework questions all right guys i hope this helped you